Hey guys, welcome back to season eight, episode two of Grey's Anatomy. Here we go. She didn't tell him she was leaving and taking me with her until we'd landed on the other side of the country. In those days, it was called family troubles. Today, it'd be called kidnapping. <laughs> Could you page Dr. Shepard one more time? I paged him two minutes ago. It's really very important that I speak with him right away. He's a brain surgeon. Everyone looking for him thinks it's really very important. <laughs> Let you know who calls back. Perfect. Well, no, I'm inserting an eyelid cell device this afternoon. I'd like you to be there and see how it works. Oh, no. The fifth gears are at each other's throats, and it's affecting the work. I almost pulled the spleen out of a man with a hole in his lung. I need you in the surgery. I can't have you supervise a gunther. Taurus can supervise starvation. Who doesn't love a gunther? Fine, do a gunther. But be in my hole all by four. Well, what happened to the chest tube? An intern's doing it. Because it's intern's work. Which I love. I'm, I'm loving the back of the basics thing. It's so valuable. But uh, 911. So. Hey. They had such a good attitude today, and now it's gone. Dr. Weber called. He's going to have to put the thing in. Now? Uh, four o'clock. They, they just call. Why would he do that? I don't know, but I'm not complaining. I just want the damn thing over with. So I'll uh, call you when I'm alone. Bye. Oh, boy. It's yours again, Dr. Shepard. Why is my pager going off every 30 seconds? Gloria is checking on it. His SSCPs are coming back up. Hello, Dr. Girl, will you? Dr. Shepard, when you have a second? Does it look like I have a second? What the hell is the problem? They said it's something about your baby. She was pinned under her car. Her leg was Ruh -ruh. in a pit of dirt. Her abdomen is pumped at the jiffy Yes, in the OR. Now, Dr. Torres... So it's basically teamwork? You're killing her, she will step in. Otherwise, you're on your own. Step you out. Does she know about her leg? She's unconscious. All right, I'll go and see how she's done. Okay. Hey, lie down. Take your CT, and I'll come back with a full report. Okay? Okay. How do you even... The whole city is like basically collapsing. <laughs> Did y'all see the size of that hole? How do you even fix that? She needs the OR. What the hell is it going to? It's uh, like a team building exercise. See, the hospital does it when the residents aren't working well together. It seems to help. If the patient doesn't die, one time the patient died, and then it didn't help. Hmm. Um, so what? They uh, prep her and then. Uh, no, no, no. No attendings, just the bunnies. In the OR? Yes, the OR. Oh, no. oh my god. Not this bitch. I just pulled her out of a hole in the ground and almost ate her alive, and her husband had to cut off her leg. Dr. Torres would be there at the steps of the They can handle this. I said no. To the chief said yes. <laughs> okay, look, I think what we need to do is we just need to take a moment. April, your chief resident, not chief of surgery. Did somebody call the OR? No, she needs a CT to assess her cardiac injuries. What did I say about it? No one gives a crap what you have to say. Still want to take it to radiology? Maybe wait in line for a little while till the machine's free? Somebody gonna call the OR? Just still find me in the group. Mm. <laughs> yeah. they, they fired her. Maybe she's putting anthrax in Karev's lock. Big piece thing. We need to upper. No, we're fine. Have you listened to anyone else ever? All the time. Just not you. Or me, apparently. She's not in seeing her. I was in the pit. She's not in the pit. I was in the elevator. She's not in the elevator. Pitch, <laughs> Dr. Gray. I just did so she didn't have to. Page her again. Oh god, she's so stupid. Oh, but he could come in in a week, I and mean, it just seems a little weird to race Look, it is a simple procedure, it'll be over in an hour. Don't worry about it. Dr. Bailey. I wanted to keep an eye on the Gunther, and intern just pulled me up. I need you now. <laughs> wow, the chaos. Holy shit. I have a full schedule that I already have to take apart so I can watch you put this thing in a person this afternoon. Henry Alton. I just would like to keep an eye on the gunner. Put on a mask, Dr. Bailey, even with my you need a sterile feel. She does not want to do this at all. <laughs> this. Danny, you have a little bit of blood in your brain, so I'm going to have one of my colleagues take a look at your films. Is it that? It's probably nothing, but I just don't want to take any chances. It's just and she does have some internal bleeding that they need to wear. When, when, we, when we tell her about her leg after the surgery, we'll just see how it goes. But, uh, but um, will she be able to feel it? What, what if, what if yeah, she yeah. Will she be oh, able to feel it? Right okay, she just needs to get through the surgery. But she what? has an incredible team. 
working hard. Really, sir. It's bleeding from her pelvis and her abdomen, which gives her plenty of reason to be well, hypertensive. Let's go to and see what we're dealing with. No! Correct, strike the incision. What? What? Why him? You're taking her up apart. Can you get the ER still a zoo? No, they got everyone who survived out of the hole a while ago. It's quieted down. This is a disaster. She got the crossword down there? Sudoku. The name Gunther comes from the doctor, not the patient. One of the residents always kind of emerges as a leader when they do this. Oh. The first time was this little quiet guy named Gunther. I never really thought he was going to play my other program, but it turns out he's the alpha dog. Great. That would be the end. Kepner's kind of a dark horse these days. Dark horse Kepner. You feel good about that position? Huh? You willing to back that up? No. <laughs> I just had to put an eyelet cell device in a mouse. Do you know how small a mouse's momentum is? I'm gonna go with really small. <laughs> Correct. But we can get in there if I can tell this that alone help with blood pressure. Well, yeah, I hope so, because her systolic's down to 68. Because her heart is exploding. Okay, is this where I step in? Stabilize the internal bleeding and then we Is this where I step in? Opening her chest, what does it look like? Rick spread. I mean, his glucose levels aren't spiking or anything. No. I mean, nothing that would make you want to push this up. Nothing. We got an opening. Opening. Right. Okay. Are you nervous? No. no. <laughs> She's nervous. Kind of cute. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. And you have made me so happy. I mean, like, <laughs> really, really happy for the first time in my life. This man is so going to die. I don't know when it's gonna be, but I just have that feeling. No, no. Could, could no. be here. <laughs> you keep telling me this is a simple procedure. Yeah, but that sounded like, and if I never see you again, remember I love you. It did. <laughs> I should go. I think it's a good idea. Derek, there are a hundred possible explanations. Don't assume the worst. Do you know why I do that? Because lately, the level of insanity in my wife's behavior defies imagination. <laughs> Sometimes, even with Christina, sometimes they surprise us. Oh, God. That's funny. Chief loves an audience. Not because he's worried that something's wrong and he wants you there to help. I don't think so. Have his aftershakes been bad? No, but he wasn't supposed to be in surgery for another two weeks. And then this morning, he calls Henry up and has him race into the hospital. He's getting batty in his old age. Oh, well, that's great, because he's cutting open my husband today. Something is not right. Oh, God. You know what you sound like? A wife. Marty, I forgot to hear what I said. A lot of bleeding down here. Jackson, um, help her hold her from there. That cat's down in there, please. Else is standing around looking like idiots doing whatever she says. I mean, look at Avery. Useless. I gotta go. Okay. What was I thinking? Oh, no. Hey, paddles. Wait, Clear? No cane. Ow! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alex? Horse? My bad. Oh, it doesn't have a pulse. I need a crushed heart. And if he doesn't stop a healthy person's heart, what did you do? I don't know. Got a heart attack. I'm going to do a prepared cardio. We've got a lot of hands in here. Two more surgeons. I'm going to get confused matters. I'm going to ask you to step back, please. I'm going to the pleasure of real trolling suction. Avery for the win! Alex? Alex? Alex, can you hear me, Alex? Crazy bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I called home, I spared her the hospital. I even had an intern call every ER in the city to make sure she wasn't run over by a bus. Holy There's shit. no simple explanation. He was just walking down the street talking about why people don't have gills. I was holding his hand and he just slipped away. How do you go through the day one minute to the next, your child just... Excuse me. Let's go find Nikki. I thought you said they weren't going to let me see him. Well, we're going to figure something out. You need to see your son. Don't touch me. I'm not touching you. Don't touch my birdie. Put this on, right? See right there? <laughs> yeah. Good? Yeah, I almost killed Karev, and Avery's the gun Avery? Mm -hmm. 
Get out of here. And the God. Avery. Good job, son. Thank you. I'm right here if you need anything. <laughs> My guy won. We're gonna be great together. Little hiccup. We haven't seen Meredith once this entire time. You know, I've seen you open the abdomen before. Where's Dr. Gray? I don't want an observer, I want an assist. Oh, okay. Is something wrong? Well, this is a teaching hospital, and you're not too old to learn. Yeah, but it'd be a good experience for Gray. Dr. Bailey, if I wanted a resident's help, I'd ask for it. You know why she just did what you said, right? Because she's the doctor. How did it go? We'll have to go back for definitive repairs. But we stopped the major hemorrhage and got the leg all cleaned out. Good. Nice work today, Avery. Thank you. Just hope she uh, pulls through. How's Alex? He should be fine. Apparently he had uh, underlying arrhythmia, so the epi... <laughs> I was moving too fast and I made a mistake. You think? Jesus, I just choked on my water and... <clears throat> Um, I can't believe Wait, that <laughs> she stabbed him. Look at him. Nice girl, but <laughs> scratch the surface. Oh my god. Don't mess with the nice ones. Oh. I think I stole a baby. In a very odd location, and you failed to answer your phone. But, you know, many people find all the technology in our lives to be intrusive. Mm -hmm. So you're not the first person who didn't answer her phone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or her pager. Yes. Janet was going to take the baby, so I took off. Okay. Okay. You know, people make mistakes. That made I mean, I worse. almost killed Alex in the OR today, so we'll just figure it out. How? I don't know. No, how'd you almost kill Alex? With a CC of Epi? What, whatever. <laughs> Just, um... You have to be careful not to cut too deep into the omentum. Uh, Dr. Weber? Yes. Hi, Teddy Altman here. Dr. Weber, I'm a surgeon. That's the word on the street. You have an attending assisting you in a simple subcutaneous device insertion. What, what are you not telling me? Dr. Altman. Is there something that he didn't tell me about... His checkups, I mean, is, is, is his... I'm fond of you, so I'm going to count the 30 in my head before I call security. <laughs> Richard, I'm, I'm just asking you... Get out of my OR. Right now. Oh, boy. She is playing the role of the worried wife very, very well. One of them almost killed you today. It was an accident. Nobody has your back. Nobody's looking out for you. That's when accidents happen, okay? This isn't a personal problem. This is a professional one. It makes you a bad hire. Mm. Yeah. Also, it means that I have to worry about you. Because no one else is. And I don't want to worry about you. I'd much rather be kicking your ass on my peds ward. <laughs> Spell peds. Is it P E A D S or is it P E E? Or is it some other version? Peds. P E I? Could it could it be P E I? Peds. Do you want to talk for a minute? Does it have a silent H in there somewhere? But I have to go do something right now, and it can't wait. Please, please believe that I want to talk to you, and I'm not blowing you off because I'm a terrible person or because I don't care about you. None of that is true. Maybe they can somehow fix that. I don't know. Uh, no I just change. don't see him wanting to be with her because I feel like he really wants a family. Oh, and but... this is up like I messed up everything else. What? You were great in the OR. I wasn't a Gunther. I was a super duper assistant. I believe in you, Kepner. It's time to place the device. What do you want me to do? Put 
Place the device. Huh? Is there anything you want to tell me? Don't screw it up. <laughs> he really wants her to like be on his the team. Early stages of ever. Unless something is wrong. All Una said this was weird. I just thought she was being a wife. Baby. Are you drinking again? Oh, that would explain a lot. Yes, it would. God, I wish it was that simple. Those forceps, Doc, baby. <laughs> Lexi's just sitting there. Not saying a word. Now, I am observing. Watch the superficial arteries. That's where it gets dicey. Let's you see those blood vessels? Yeah. Implant the device as close to those as possible. Without their oxygen supply, the islet cells would die off. Vessels would just take over the oxygen delivery to the device completely. Look at that. It's interesting, right? It's actually kind of beautiful. <laughs> nice work, Dr. Bear. Close them up. Who's your wife, too? Do you know where she is? Well, that is the question of the hour. I have no idea where she is. Dr. Weber just informed me that he tampered with the drugs and placebos in your clinical trial. Excuse me? No, it was just a matter. Dr. Gray apparently was covering for him. She knew and she was trying to protect him. She wasn't covering for you. Wife, what are you doing? This is wrong, and you know that. What are you trying to do to her? She was trying to save Adele. She was trying to save me. At what point are you going to stop punishing her for that? Holy shit! Nope. Really? Or are you just being stoic for me? I'm a man again. I can't pretend to be brave and strong. You can. I am oh, so like, wow! After whatever kicked me out of the order. Really? You're just a mess, like any ordinary wife would be. Yeah, it's pathetic. I think it's adorable. I have a chronic tumor condition. I'm a frequent flyer in the air. I cannot believe that. Duck, if you had it in there, you may want to wait. They're acting like he just came back from the wars. What? Something happened with the chief. Oh my god, he's gonna be fired. What are you doing? You're trying to reach me for hours? Sorry. Where's Ola? Hey, Susanna just got out of surgery and it went as well as it could have. I'm not gonna know much for a little while. Brought up her mother in an argument, and that, and that, is, that is one of the red buttons. I swore I would never do that. Why, why did I do that? It's <laughs> a like red button. Maybe. Save her life. Maybe for a while. And Maybe you both just decide to forget you want. Tend to never happen. Does that work? Can't hurt to try. You meant that's why he was showing Bailey all of that. I'm sorry. He wanted her to it's take over his trial. Try. No, I'm sorry. What did you do? I want you to shut the door and then I want you to sit down. You're throwing your whole career away for that damn girl. This is not the end of my career. But the FDA will never come anywhere near you again. That is the end of your island sound trial, not to mention any other thing you might be cooking up with the sit FDA. Sit down. <laughs> you read the first page. The artificial pancreas, a cure for diabetes. You pop out the artificial pancreas, a, a huge missed opportunity that you blew because you... Read the next line. Principal investigator Miranda Bates. It's yours now. I have no pending trials with the FDA. Ever since your Damn. surgery, Zola's had weekly blood tests, and the uh, results I got today were a little weird, so I wanted to take a look at it. 
my pager I had to turn in because they fired me. What's wrong with her? Her white count was elevated, 14.5. Um, I wanted to make sure there wasn't a post-op infection or a CSF leak or something. Um, on my exam, she looks fine. No signs of spinal shock. Oh my god. It's true. CSF leaks are a problem from different baby sets. That's great you caught that. You and me? I just needed some time. I just needed to hold her and look at her and just think about how everything, everything got so screwed up. Janet has a problem with me, not with you. And we need to do whatever we can to make sure they don't take her away. And if that means that you have custody of her and I don't, well then, that's what we need to do. Damn. You're not fired. Richard's gonna take the fault for you. What? I can't do that. I'm not gonna let him do that. Yes, you will. If you want to keep this baby, you will let him protect you. Oh my god. That's insane. That is insane. Ben? Oh my god. Sweetheart. There he is. You stay though. I'm not going anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm right here. Baby. <laughs> How's it looking? I think she's gonna take it. Take her. I don't know. Nervous because you didn't do it yet. I didn't change my mind. like that guy did, I'd leave you a good stump so you get a prosthesis. <laughs> When's your appointment? Six, right? Six o'clock. Now, I... <laughs> Oh no. We're not gonna find a better family than two doctors. It's, it's gonna be fine. I don't Are you know. Are gonna go check on Sophia? Cause when somebody's talking about taking someone's baby away, you wanna see your baby. Oh, you guys, she's fine. I'm right behind you. Terrible leadership instincts. That doesn't make me a better leader. A better person, maybe. Uh, He's a leader in Detroit become human. <laughs> we are in a bit of a Marcus. problem right now. A lot of questions came up today about your relationship. It's not easy bringing a child into a relationship. You're allowed to have some bumps in the road. This afternoon, when it looked like you two had split up, your wife got fired, I set off some alarms. Now, I'm trying to dial them all back, but it's not that easy to do. Once the system is set in motion, there's a certain protocol that has to be followed. Mm -hmm. She loves people so much that she'll do anything for them. Derek, please. I hear you. But no matter what I say, social services still has to reevaluate the placement. And while that happens, Zola can't be in your home. I'll give you a minute to say goodbye. God. She's ours. Nobody's taking her away. And she'll wake up in half an hour and then we'll take her home for dinner. Now we should wake her up. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy's here. Daddy's here. Daddy's here. Daddy's here. Like, what's happening? 
I will give you an injection to numb the cervix. If you'd like some IV diazepam, it won't knock you out, but it'll calm you down. I want to ask you one more time. Are you absolutely sure this is what you want to do? without that giraffe. It's in the front pocket of the diaper bag. And there's extra pacifiers in there. You're gonna need them when you put her in the car. Damn. You think that true love is the only thing that can crush your heart? The thing that will take your life and light it up? Or destroy it? You become a mother. Well, damn. I'm gonna update uh, update the top ten. Grev, the top the top part of it is, I don't I feel like I want to move it, but then again I, I like try to move it and I'm like no. Uh, Grev Shepard, Meredith Bailey, Christina, and this is where things change. Avery, Sloan, Kepner, Weber, Hunt. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. Moving on to episode three. See you all next time.